Hi, today we're going to have a look at one of InDesign's uh, supposed problems, which is numbering uh, within numbered lists. Um, I'm just going to explain how to use it, because actually when you get the hang of it, it's fairly simple. So here we have InDesign opened up, and this is CS6, and I have a number of paragraphs, and within each of the paragraphs I've just got one word, just to show you how it works. Now the simplest way of putting basic numbering on these is to click on here, and that puts it in as a numbered list. Um, the problem with that is it's not actually created a paragraph style for this. This is still in basic paragraph style with an addition, which is the numbering. What I can do, of course, is I can go into my paragraph styles and holding down the Alt button, click on that new one, and that's made a new paragraph style based on the paragraph that I'm already in. And if I call this numbers one, and it's going to go on to the next the next paragraph will be in the same style. Now if I have a look here at the bullets and numbering, this is how my bullets and numbering are defined. Um, what's important here is where I say start at 1 or continue from previous number. Let me show you what the difference is. If I say start at 1 and then click OK, and now when I apply that to all of the selected paragraphs, each time that paragraph restarts, it starts at 1. Let me just go back into into here and show you the bullets and numbering. If I say continue from previous number and click OK, they will continue on from the previous paragraph number. However, I can override this anywhere I want. I can click in an individual paragraph and I could say restart the numbering and it restarts from that point. Yeah, Or I could click in another one and restart the numbering there and it starts again. What I can also do is I can set another new paragraph. So I'm going to create another new one here um, and this one I'm going to call number two. And based on numbers one, and if I go in here and see the bullets and numbering, I'm going to make this a level two and I'm going to increase that to 12 and a half and that should be 12 and a half as well in fact no I'll leave it at minus 6.35 okay click on OK um, numbers 2 is now indented slightly but of course when we indent we wouldn't want that to be a number 1 we might want that to be an A so if I edit that back to bullets and numbering rather than my 1, 2, 3, 4 I'll choose A, B, C, D, and it is still going to put in um, my number, then a dot, and then the tab. So we see the number, dot, and then a tab. Okay, I can of course choose this one here, set that to 2, and it continues as a B, because in my numbering, it's set to continue from the previous number. Okay, I hope this has cleared it up. Um, essentially, what you do need to do, though, is you need to set up a paragraph style for each of your levels and then simply click on the level to apply the paragraph style for that level. I hope that's been useful. Thank you for listening.